Good morning. First day of December. And it's cold and rainy here. Um, don't have the propane heater on this morning, which is nice from a sound standpoint. Um, it's very loud, but that's why we use it just to preheat. We've got a full day today. So we are going to be working on some exercises we did about a week and a half ago now. It's about a nine day cycle between uh, the start and finish of each. And we've got some good notes from the last time we did this. So some of the exercises are going to be going up in weight. Um, others are going to be staying the same with just some more emphasis placed on, you know, particular points of our ROM. Um, I think we had a good base where we started last time, but there was certainly some stuff left in the tank on at least a few of the exercises. Um, we are training to near failure, really, or, or failure on just about every one of these exercises, at least by the end of that last set. So um, <clears throat> we're going to get right after it. We've got some cable pulls here, uh, lat cable pulls that we're going to be doing single arm, and then moving through the rest of these exercises. Again, really just trying to hammer home on some really good ROM, some really good form, but also just fantastically difficult RPE numbers by the time we, we've completed that set. So we're going to crack right into it. Um, I've said it before, I'll say it again. Doing these, these gym vlogs has really actually helped me analyze my form between these workouts, which is something I would do infrequently before, just kind of putting my, my cell phone up against uh, my, tr my tripod and recording an individual set watching that and applying it to the next one but doing these vlogs has really helped me and your comments are really helping me as well with kind of analyzing certain aspects of the entire workout on a set that you're commenting about so keep them coming appreciate it good bad or ugly we're going to get right into these cable lat pull downs and crack off into it see you there All right, a couple sets of warm up there. Let's crack off into this. <clears throat> Get right to our working sets here. <clears throat> Oh, I am, uh, I'm having a hard time just bracing myself between these, you know, when I'm up here, I'm trying to brace my arm over here, it's only 70 pounds on the pulley, but it really wants to pull me that direction. So that's, it's really distracting at the moment. Yeah. <sighs> 
That was a whew, that was a tough set. We barely hit the eleventh rep there on my left side, and uh, also barely got twelve on my right side. So that's great. That's what we were wanting to see. Now on this last set, we're going to be doing long length partials. Thanks again. <laughs> Jeff Nippard for getting that one stuck in my head. Really focusing on the elongated side of that muscle though. So, I'm gonna be sticking in the upper half of that, that rep for both sides there and cranking them out. We know the weight's gonna be tough. We hit failure on not a full set of ten, uh, 12 on that one. 10 would still be acceptable though too. So we did good. But this is, uh, we're gonna earn our dinner here, that's for sure or our breakfast, I suppose, at this hour of the day. Oh my God. <clears throat> That is, that is tough. Wow. That, wow. Okay, one more. On one hand, I want to add a little bit more weight on that last set because they're long length partials. But on the other, my goodness, the contraction we were feeling, and we weren't even pulling it all back, but just that overall tightness in the lat. That was insane. All right, one down. However many more to go at this point. We got some uh, RDLs coming up, so let's get switched up and set up for that. are uh, exerting. <laughs> Yesterday was a rest day, so we headed off from lifting. We did cardio, a good bit of cardio there, but uh, rest day from lifting, and what's funny is that uh, I feel pretty well recovered, but as soon as I did this, my abs were screaming at me going, Mm. Are you though? 
Are you fully recovered? <sighs> Definitely feeling that. My abs a little bit. Uh, quite a bit. Let's not beat around the bush here. Interesting. But the exercise itself felt great. So we're going to push out another set here and uh, work that posterior chain a little bit before we move on to some dumbbell, chest supported dumbbell rows, which I, I, I really enjoy a lot. And we're back to the dumbbells. My pro style changing dumbbells here. So last week we did 70 on these. And I wrote, or I guess I say last week, it was a little bit more than a week ago. I wrote in my notes that I thought 70 was just a little too light. Um, and watching the video too, there's definitely some food on the table there. That needs to be taken care of with these when we were at 70. So we're bumping them up to 80. Um, if I have to reduce it in between one of these sets, that's fine. That'll be perfectly acceptable. And um, I, think, I think we'll really be okay with 80 here. So we're gonna get these set to 80 to at least do the first set or two at that um however we're also going to be doing some long length partials on these when we get to that last set as well so there's a pretty good likelihood that the weight will be fine all the way through i always get a little worried about jumping too far up and not being able to have good form like right from the onset i'm not i'm not too worried about that right now but i am a a little more worried about how that form will deteriorate after a set or two but we'll see we'll be actively monitoring it as we work it and if we kind of reduce it we'll just reduce it a little bit not the end of the world just realized it was friday all right let's get after this Man, when you've got that pulled all the way back and in, gosh, that's a great contraction. I, I don't feel like I get nearly as good of a contraction when I'm doing like a barbell row. Even a, honestly like a cable row sometimes. I don't know if it's the, you know, independent hands, but it's a really good contraction. I, I love, I love some chest supported dumbbell rows. I just realized it was Friday. That's a darn good feeling. Forgetting it was Friday and then realizing. Busy day ahead on my schedule, but I hope whatever day it is, wherever you are, hope it's a good day. Hope it's a good beginning of the week. Let's ease back into it. I hope if it's the middle of the week, it hasn't been too crazy just yet. And then you've got a nice easy slope into the weekend. And I hope that if, like, for you, it's Friday as well, that it's just one of those Fridays where it's cool, calm, and collected. No one bugs you. 
No one throws anything additional at you before the weekend. And then if they do, that you harness your willpower and your ability to say respectfully, no, um, and, and set some boundaries for yourself. It's a really hard thing for a lot of people to do to say no to people. And we've talked about that before. But to also put boundaries in place at work, especially if you're in a situation like I am where you work from home and that work-life balance can kind of bleed together sometimes. I see a lot of people in the professional world not set healthy boundaries for themselves. And it allows people to walk all over you if you don't do that. Take advantage of your kindness. I love my job. And I am very, very dedicated and passionate about it. But we've still got to have boundaries in place. We've still got to be able to <clears throat> close that door at the end of the day so that we can go to the other side and spend time with our friends and family and enjoy that, not be consumed thinking about work, letting the stress from work affect our day-to-day. -day. And I struggle with that on and off. I feel like everybody does at different points in the, in the year. Different things happen and it's, it gets a little difficult to remember this isn't a problem you're going to solve right now. You can try solving it again tomorrow. But that break and separation between end of the day and next work day is so, so, so important. Even end of the work week and the next work week is so important. It's really easy for us to start slipping and letting these small moments of, I'll just take care of that. I'll just take care of that. It'll be this little thing. And then people start to build this expectation of you. Oh. BJ's always going to be good to do that. He'll answer me really quickly. He'll do this. And I'm always one who will put in the extra time and effort for a project that needs that kind of attention. But when that's your every day, that's not healthy. It should be the exception to be working extra, exceptionally hard, extra hours. It should not be the norm. All right, last set, come on. Oh my God. Oh shit, okay. Oh. Wow, those long legs partials, man. But if your every day is consumed with running around, chasing fire after fire after fire, well, that's just not good business. If everything's a fire, nothing's a fire. If everything's an emergency, is anything really an emergency? How do you know when a real one comes through the door? So I hope you're able to put healthy boundaries in place for yourself. I hope you feel empowered to do that. I think most people are afraid to do that for themselves, which is sad. And I obviously can't speak for every workplace to your personal experience. It's what your day to day is like. And I, I obviously can't speak for anybody working what we would call a blue collar job. That's a whole nother ball game, unfortunately, that I, I, I don't have any expertise in. And I certainly am not qualified to speak to that kind of 
kind of setup. I am curious to hear your feedback on your work arrangements. Let me know in the comments, what's it like in your day to day? How do you manage the work from home balance? How do you set reasonable expectations? Or do you struggle with doing that, with putting boundaries in place? Let me know down in the comments, let's talk about it. I wanna hear about your experiences. Got some uh, lat pull downs. Let's move over to that. All right, now this week, <clears throat> I'm really focused on keeping my arms a little bit straighter. When I was reviewing the footage, I wasn't totally happy with how my arms were. I, I felt like I was kind of using my tricep a little bit to push this down to get it moving, kind of build momentum. So I'm really gonna be focused on keeping those arms nice and straight, as straight as I can. We'll see how it works, we'll see. Okay, all right, not bad. Whew, if I feel that. boy. Whew. All right, one more set on this. And some long length partials again. Last one of these for today. Which is good. This is going to be a tough one, I can tell. But I'm preparing for it. Okay. All right. Here we go. All right, <clears throat> time for some hammer curls and some face pulls. Uh, you probably won't see the face pulls. We're gonna superset them. Maybe I'll move the camera between one of these sets here. Um, and this will be it. So, a couple, couple more sets here. And uh, Friday officially begins. <clears throat> well, <laughs> after work. We still gotta go to work. What the hell am I talking about? I think we might be able to do more on that. All right, <clears throat> bumped up to 40. <clears throat> Let's see how these feel. That 35 felt a little too light. 
but I don't know that 40 is going to be great either. We'll see. Yeah, that's too much. Drop it down real quick. That's what these are great for. Let's crank out some more reps here. Okay. Last set. Here we go. Oh, man. Oh. All right. Ooh. That's a tough little superset there. You know, the face pulls are not meant to be a bicep exercise, but when you're working them and then moving directly over to it, your biceps are certainly helping in that pulling movement. So, that was tough. Biceps are fried right now. I'm going to be walking around with T-Rex arms all day, I got a feeling. Uh, so, thanks for being here again. Appreciate you. Appreciate you all. Appreciate your comments. I hope you have a great rest of your week, weekend, day, whatever it is. Um, you have the power to help influence how that all shapes out. And even though there are factors that are outside of our control, if we just focus and control what we can control, uh, that's the best we can do sometimes. So... Be proud of yourself if you're doing that. And if you are trying to control things beyond your control, narrow it down, bring it back in, realize what you can and can't do, and make the most of it. All right. I'll see you all next time.